Hi, I'm Marcus Roberts. I'm a jazz pianist, and I'm delighted to participate in this fantastic project which supports the Philadelphia nonprofit organization Mighty Writers. This wonderful organization helps kids learn to read and express themselves when they write with clarity. I'd like to encourage you all to donate at mightywriters.org. I'd also like to extend a shout out to Literary Hub where the video will be posted. Transcripts and the other episodes are available at lithub.com. That's L-I-T-H-U-B dot com. I lost my sight when I was five and a half years old. So when I went to the first grade, at first I really couldn't read or write. My mother, who also is totally blind, she didn't really get a chance to learn how to read and write when she went to school. So she was definitely going to make sure that I was able to read and write. You probably can see this machine that I have that I'm using to read right now. So I'm reading Braille, which is a different way of expressing yourself in the English language using different Braille characters that represent the letters and the numbers and punctuation that we use when we write. So that was a very, very, very important thing for me. And I've always enjoyed reading and writing. It just opens up a whole new world of ideas that you can explore. I like to tell stories through my music. I write whole big long suites of music and each song is like a chapter in a book. In each song you wonder, what's getting ready to happen next? What's gonna happen now? Are we expressing anger through the music, joy through the music, sadness through the music? This particular song or chapter that I'm gonna play for you right now is taken from a suite I wrote called Romance Swing in the Blues. It's a story about how people get together, decide they wanna be friends, and of course, at first, everything is happy. That's the swing part. Then sometimes things go wrong. That's the blues part. But if you work through it and solve the problems that come up, you'll find that you're even better friends than you were at first or at least that's how the story that this music tells goes. But you can't deny that the problems exist and you can't deny that they occur. So this song that I'm gonna play for you now is called Period of Denial. I believe it's quite appropriate to describe our current situation in America.
When I was in 11th grade, I had a really hip English teacher, Mrs. Simpson. And one day, we came into class expecting to write an essay or read a great book. And she told us, no, today we're just going to listen to someone who could write music. In this case, she was talking about the great French composer Maurice Ravel. And that whole lecture was about the fantastic piece he wrote called Bolero. That's the first time I heard Ravel and the first example that I would really consider what you might call creative repetition. And the two great themes that are used to build that masterpiece are repeated over and over, but Ravel uses different colors, different orchestrations, bringing out different instruments that keep you engaged and on the edge of your seat. And that's what great writers do in literature. This next piece that I'm going to do was mainly influenced by Ravel. Uh, the big influence for this piece is taken from his great G major concerto, piano concerto, the second movement. And this song is called Seeking Peace.
Jazz music is based on what we call the blues. The blues is a form, just like poetry has a form and writing has a form. And in blues, we use mainly, in most cases, the three primary chords in Western music. The one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. I'll show you. Here's the one chord, four chord, five chord. Now, W.C. Handy is often called the father of the blues because he was the first person to actually write down what the blues form is, the 12 bar blues cycle. He wrote it down on paper and wrote many songs using that form. One of his most important contributions to the blues form is a piece I'm gonna play for you now called the St. Louis Blues.
I do love to read books, lots and lots of books. And one that I've been reading lately is written by a great historian. His name is Robin D.G. Kelly. And he wrote a book called Thelonious Monk, The Life and Times of an American Original. Thelonious Monk was one of our great, great composers, one of our immortal jazz pianists. And he's one of the few musicians I've ever heard who everything they play makes sense. He doesn't play anything that he didn't want to play. And it's always related to some melodic conception or melodic theme that you can hear. He was hip, he was modern, very committed to music and his family. And he was a very witty and a very intelligent and generous man. And he mentored everybody from Miles Davis to Art Blakey. So Kelly's book is actually, we could say, it's a story about an artist who struggles to make it without compromising his musical vision or his integrity. Um, so that's an important thing. And again, he does such a great job of giving us a real understanding of what Monk endured as a child, everything that he had to go through. But he also talks about the great achievements that he had, the great shows that him and John Coltrane did at the Five Spot Club in New York, how he made it to the cover of Time magazine in 1964, and all of the struggles in between. So if you get a chance to check out Thelonious Monk, definitely do it. I've really enjoyed the opportunity to be a part of this project and to play for you today. Mighty Writers is a great organization whose goal is to inspire kids to learn how to develop the ability to think clearly and to write with clarity. If you can, I know times are tough, but make a donation at mightywriters.org. It's a great cause. I'd again like to thank Literary Hub, where the video will be posted. Transcripts and the other episodes are available at lithub.com. To see this video and many other videos of me playing with many groups of great musicians, go to my YouTube channel, Marcus Roberts Jazz. The link is listed below. This has been an extremely challenging year for all of us. It may be something that inspires a lot of you to think about and write about your experiences or your thoughts about what's going on in our society right now. I decided to write a piece to express my feeling about all that's been going on over the last few months. It's called The Year We Won't Forget. I'm gonna play it for you now. Again, my name is Marcus Roberts. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the music.